And so now you're to the bottom line, in essence, where you would think you can now apply the tax calculation on like the bottom line of, in essence, the income statement, which is what happens here. But the tax calculation, as we saw briefly, because of a progressive tax system, is quite complicated. So as we saw that complication then means that we're usually going to be reliant on tax software to do this actual calculation. So in, in practice, I'll oftentimes recalculate all this information down to the taxable income to double check the data input using an Excel worksheet, but de dependent to a large degree on the tax code to apply the actual tax calculation because of the progressive tax uh, system involved. And it's even more complex than that progressive tax system multiple tax rates being applied to the tax calculation using tables possibly because you might have other income subject to other kinds of taxes such as uh, dividends might be subject to a different tax rate you might have like passive income uh, kind of situation capital gains might be subject uh, to a different tax rate and so on so it can get quite complex even if you get to the taxable income correctly to basically uh, think about what that tax rate will be and we're dependent on the software to some degree. So then we've got the tax before credits and other taxes. So you might think, hey, this is the bottom line. This is it. There's the calculation of the taxes. But no, for a couple reasons. One is because we, on the income tax system, it's a pay as you go, as they say, type of system. So for the tax year 2022, we cannot wait until we do the tax return by April 15th or April 18th or whatever of 2023 to calculate the tax and then uh, just pay it at that point in time. You might say, well, they're helping us out. They're helping us out to do that by withholding during the year. Well, no, they're not just helping us out. They want their money sooner, right? You can't do that or else you'll get hit with penalties and interest. You have to pay during 2022 in order to avoid the stick of penalties and interest. So most people do that with withholdings throughout the year, the W-2s uh, withholdings, uh, or if you have a sole proprietorship, then you have to pay estimated taxes. So we're gonna, of course, have to compare the tax that we owe to the tax that we already paid. Now, if it was a perfect world, if it was a flat tax, if it was a simple system, if we didn't have millions of deductions and credits to kind of muddy up the waters, then it would be like payroll taxes. The amount that we owe and the amount that we pay would match and we would get no refund. We would get no uh, amount that is due. But the tax code is way too complicated for that. We can't possibly hit it on the nose and therefore we usually shoot for a refund. The other reason we can't stop here, of course, is that there could be other taxes. We might have other taxes such as self-employment tax being one of the big ones that could be included and we could have credits. So credits are different than deductions because credits are, are gonna be below the tax calculation. You'll get a dollar for dollar benefit on the credits versus the deduction where you just get a reduction of the tax. So 